Okay, so in this question, a velocity of a 5 meter per second can be resolved along perpendicular direction that is x, y, and x, z as shown in the figure. Fine. So the component of the velocity of velocity in the direction x, y is of the magnitude 4. What is the magnitude of the component of in, in the direction of x, z? Fine. So there are two x's which are perpendicular to each other. So this angle is 90 degree and uh, we want to resolve this velocity vector into two. So how do we do that? Uh, so we can show the velocity component here like this and another will be like this or we can create a triangle and that triangle will be somewhat like this. like this okay these are the components or we can take this and we can draw a parallel line here which will be like this so one is the same thing so this vector has been resolved into two and okay let me let me erase this thing uh, don't get confused fine now it is saying that this side is a four meter per second so you need to find this so let us uh, call this x and we know because the angle between these two components is 90 degree so there will be a triangle the triangle that i have drawn here earlier so this will be taken as four so by using the pythagorean pythagorean theorem here x square plus 4 square is equal to 5 square and on solving we will find that x is coming out to be 3 and unit will be kept the same so that will be 3 meter per second so our answer is going to be b now this triangle is a very important triangle i tell you this becomes one of the very famous pythagorean triplet triangles so this triangle is 3 4 5 Likewise, there are others also like uh, one is 12, 5 and 13. So these are known as Pythagoras triplets. You might have studied them in mathematics in lower standards. So this triangle, which is uh, having three sides, one is 3, 4 and 5. It is especially very important. And there are some angles also that uh, we are told to learn. Like I can tell you this. This is 5 and this is 3 and this is a 4. So this angle we know is approximately equal to 53. One side is 5 and the base is 3. The angle is 53. That is why this is the funny part of this triangle. And so you can remember this. So this angle, it automatically comes out to be 37 degree because both of these angles are complementary now. So this will be 37 degree and this will be 53. This triangle is very very important and you can just remember this triangle like that only you would be getting these kind of questions you can straightly take answer three so let us verify our answer from the mark scheme once and yes the answer is b according to the mark scheme so with this all the best bye